My name is Luchi and then I'm here in Nepal, Kathmandu. Uh, I came with the volunteering uh, solution um, for the orphanage program. Um, so uh, what happened here is my stay here is one month and then today is my last day. I really enjoyed um, uh, all the things here. I've learned a lot also from both the teachers in the orphanage, the kids, and then also um, the host family here. And then we have uh, really good food here, uh, well fed, also hot shower. <laughs> this is really hard to get uh, in uh, Nepal uh, after the earthquake. And we given like, a, um, we have electricity problem, but it's okay to manage. Uh, also with the orphanage program, uh, so what I did is, so in the morning, I went there to help the kids with their homework, sometimes help them to clean the uh, classroom, and then also make up the bed. And then in the afternoon, uh, so after kids finish the school, I will go there again to help them to do the homework, and then leave the orphanage at about 6.30 usually. The kids there are great. And then, so for most of the volunteers, uh, we usually help them with the English, and uh, sometimes um, the math, the science, the social studies as well, because that is also taught in English. And then, it, as the volunteers, so we usually we get Saturday off, but uh, uh, we can also go there um, to have fun with kids uh, in the Saturday, because Saturday is the only holiday in Nepal for the whole week. Uh, and then yeah so and then the daytime um, uh, although it is free you can do anything but I got an additional um, program um, so as the school in the uh, Shireen Jana Sudan uh, school uh, so just under the monkey temple and um, I was there basically not teaching the class um, but uh, assisting because I had no qualification so just assisting the teacher there uh, with uh, class round 3, 4, 6, 7 and 8. So with uh, English subject, uh, like sometimes uh, we have to read stories and sometimes just the grammar bit. Uh, the kids there are very eager to learn and then I hope more volunteers can come um, to give them more knowledge uh, to help them to um, uh, improve their grammar and then also um, give them chances to speak uh, in English. I think that's important. More practice makes will make them good. Um, with the orphanage program, there's a few things I want to comment. Um, actually, I feel very a bit a bit sad to leave. Um, so with the orphanage, actually, your role I think is very different from uh, if you are. If, if you go to the school. So with the orphanage, uh, you are not the teacher there. The kids there, they really need to be loved. So in, like, I think if you ever come to visit um, Parapaka Orphanage, um, please do love them unconditionally. Sometimes they'll be naughty. Sometimes they may make funny faces at you. Sometimes they won't respond to you, but that's okay. They're still kids. So, and then, yeah, so, and then if, if you ever come to visit the orphanage, um, I think what, if you want to ever bring something to them, I think is um, the pens, like a pencils, pens, uh, notebooks is okay, but pencils and pens are usually quite expensive here, and the eraser, and then also some English storybooks. Um, but you can also get um, get the English storybooks here in in Kathmandu as well, so it's okay if you can't bring them. Uh, yeah, and then if you have clothes, also very welcome to bring them as well. And then also, it's the kids there. It's just uh, because you know some of them are often, some of them are semi often, some of them are. Some of them stay in the orphanage because their family are too poor to support them. So if you ever come to visit to do the volunteer work there, um, thank you. And then that's it for me. Thank you.